Hello there, kia ora. You might have heard the other day that our CEO, sorry, Prime Minister, has released their 36 points that the government would like to achieve between now and the end of June. And there is certainly some interesting stuff in there. And it's really important, I think, that we have to move the needle in terms of what it is that government is offering the voters of Aotearoa. We should adopt a lean thinking mindset, but also make sure that what we're doing is having a great value add proposition as well for them. These decisions are game changers. We've got to make sure that everybody in the country is on the same page, but we also have to acknowledge that this is not particularly consumer-centric policy making, but we need to get some low-hanging fruit first to make sure that we can roll this out, and that means that everybody involved has to give 110%, and that those people who haven't been fired through to mass layoffs because of a recession that was engineered by the Reserve Bank, and you know the fact that we want to give billions of dollars back in tax cuts to landlords, so we're telling people there's a recession that's really, really horrible, they've got to give 110% and think outside the box. There's a lot of moving parts on this project, and we all need to buy in, and we all need to make sure that we are part of the solution, not the problem. Look, I'm sorry, that was a complete, total buzzword corporate word salad, and I'm talking about the document that was put out, as well as the introduction I just gave. But let's be fair, this is a stupid looking document. Not only is the term taking decisions in there 15 odd times, the meaning of that phrase is a bit weird because it, there's actually some debate over whether or not it's just saying making decisions in a buzzwordy way or if there is actually a difference between pre-planning when you're going to make a decision or make a decision on the fly. It's kind of confusing. But this is a document that is full of some really strange things. Like number 18 on their list, Raise the energy New Zealand brings to key relationships through engagements focusing on our traditional partners, the Pacific, the Southeast, and South Asian regions. What does that mean, raising the energy? Do they expect to give Winston Peters a bunch of Viagra and say, here, go to it, your energy levels should be up, you can negotiate like hell? That's not how these things work. And like, I totally get the idea of having things you want to achieve when you're in government or in a corporate area, but... Having a 36-point plan that's full of buzzwords doesn't actually tell people that you know what you're doing or what direction you're going in. It simply says, I know how to say buzzwords. And here's where the problem actually lies with that. A lot of research has been done into the use of buzzwords in a corporate arena, and they tend to come back with the same thing. It hides the fact that people who use them don't really know what it is that they're talking about and don't want to sound like an idiot. That's not unusual. Buzzwords given a authoritative ear to what it is that people are saying. It makes them sound like they're part of the organization and they know how the decision-making process works and what the priorities are for those involved without actually saying, I don't know what I'm doing, help me out. And that's exactly how these 36 points sound to people who aren't already involved in the National Party or ACT or New Zealand First. And remember, there's actually a lot of people in those organizations who have been involved in the corporate world or at high-level decision and governance-making areas. So it makes sense that they're used to using these kind of buzzwords. But for the average Kiwi, it makes no difference whatsoever whether or not it's going to be taking decisions on measures to increase investment in renewable energy generation, which should not be the sort of thing that is a hard decision to make, or whether or not it's things like introduce legislation to improve the rental market. What does that mean? Who are you improving that market for? But hey, it's buzzword salad that seems to make those people who voted for this party who are going to get a bit of a kickback with their tax refunds really, really happy. And I suppose they're the really important ones, aren't they? <sighs> Certainly starting to feel that way. Mm -hmm.